Hello Molly, this will be some uh, final video feedback for you on your web banner. Uh, we've got two weeks and if I can help you with anything, uh, don't hesitate to uh, reach out. Text messaging um, at the phone number that I publish in my uh, announcements is probably the best way, uh, but any I'll consider anything else. Uh, we can also use Skype, some people still use that, uh, and I can share my desktop if there's any you know technical issue. Anyway, until the end of the term, I bid you strict. Molly, this is really impressive. Uh, it, the movement is, you know, very sophisticated, very detailed. Um, at first glance, there's something kind of watch-like about it. Um, it's got, you know, multiple moving parts, and it certainly attracts my attention. However, you know, uh, visually, if I were to stop it at any one point, let's see if I can do that just by clicking on it. Um, well, I guess my point is, is it's their emphasis is evenly spread over the whole ad. My eye doesn't focus on any one thing. Um, it's, you know, the, the busyness of the movement uh, against the busyness of the, um, the type with the, with the uh, image knocked out. Nice job of that, too. Um, anyway, every, everything sort of buys for attention. You've got great ingredients, however. And I would be hard pressed uh, choosing which ones to use. Um, you don't have to use your type effect as beautiful as it is. That alone, you know, on, on a single white page would be an elegant ad. Um, and, you know, this, this uh, very appealing image cropped out of a circle, that too could be the basis, the, the single basic visual basis for an ad. Um, take a look at your print ad, you know, if you simplified it, perhaps you can uh, lend some of the same simplicity to your uh, web banner. I also like your uh, silhouettes of the champagne glasses, um, but again, you know, that, then the, they alone could be the basis of an elegant ad. So, as difficult as it might be, I guess my recommendation would be to pare away things. One thing that I don't think you need, really, is contact information. Um, it's generally assumed that by clicking on the web banner, you'll be taken to a website. So uh, that's up to you, though, you know, uh, but in the interest of, sort of say, uh, simplifying your ad, I would uh, take it out. I'm going to open up your file in Photoshop next just to see how you're doing with uh, your layer structure as well as the uh, timeline editors. Oh, Molly, before I do that, though, I wanted to um, remark on your most excellent um, documentation of your process. And, uh, you know, some of these sim simpler iterations um, you might consider going back to. You know, uh, and that, that's one of the great thing about keeping a um, screenshot like this is that you can. What was this? Was that a... Uh, an effect that you wanted to get, you probably could do that. And your mastery of the timeline um, editor. So this is great. You know, all you need really um, is to knit this together with your narrative from this last week. Um, you know, perhaps with captions, I don't want to burden you, but treat it like a publication design project where uh, <clears throat> you have a narrative that is illustrated with screenshots. So good job uh, of documenting your process. Now in Photoshop, I see you have a simple four frame um, animation here and four keyframes. Uh, note that you can smooth out your movement by adding uh, tweening, it's called, it's called tweening. And there's some parameters here which you can change. I'm just going to, for the purposes of demonstration, show you what you can do. Um, so, okay, so I've, I've created a Five extra frames. I'm going to slow them all down a little bit just to see what we get. So and back it up. See that brush strokes a little smoother. Ah, okay. I <laughs> I like the tilting uh, type. It really does get your attention. But then so does this and this too. Um, you know, just this rocking away large, you know, perhaps in, in on this purple field, 
uh, would be enough against the, uh, the champagne glasses or, you know, this image. But um, great job. I would be so hard-pressed to choose uh, if these were my ingredients, but I know you can do it.